Hi my friends, welcome to another vlog. We are gonna go on a road trip tomorrow. Hopefully an epic, beautiful California road trip from LA area all the way up to Big Sur area, which is so pretty. It's a work trip for my husband and I'm fortunate that I can like tag along, bring my laptop, do my work from the hotel, and we'll hopefully get some fun times in, you know, in between all the work stuff that needs to go on. So very, very excited. And behind me is a huge mess where I am packing. So I thought I'd show you just a couple little tips for how I'm packing and tomorrow we'll hit the road. I don't remember if I've shown this recently, probably not because we weren't traveling there for a couple years, but <laughs> this is how I like to pack in separate pouches. And basically I think about it like where the things are gonna go. So I have a pouch that is bathroom supplies, and this is basically for washing my face at the sink. I have some muslin cloths, some face wash, a hair headband thing, and that will stay in the bathroom by the sink. But I like to do the rest of my skincare steps, honestly, in bed before I go to sleep. So this one, which is my PM skincare, I will put by the bed. And after I wash my face, I can just crawl in bed and like put on some serum and eye cream and lotion while we watch TV or whatever. <laughs> so that's why I pack that separately. And then same thing for the morning. I like to wake up and while I'm doing my morning skincare, like write in my journal, sit by the window or I don't know, whatever the situation is in the hotel room. So I like to pa pack my like morning steps separately from my nighttime <laughs> steps. And this thing right here is my husband's toiletries. He's obviously a little more low maintenance than I am, but... Um, his stuff all fits in one bag. This is another thing I love to travel with. It's a little vanity mirror that has a light in it and this side magnifies. Oof, I need to clean it. Um, so that makes it a lot easier to do your makeup on the go. Like hotel rooms often don't have a good makeup station. So I'll be bringing that. Okay, here are some of my staple foods that I like to pack when I'm traveling. I like to have options where I can just basically whip up a picnic or feed myself so that I don't have to get fast food. I don't really, there's like no, not many things at fast food restaurants that I like. And also I'm pescatarian, so there's not a lot of things that I can eat. Although Impossible Beef is becoming more available, which is awesome. But these are kind of some of my go-tos. I usually always bring pita bread when I travel. I don't know why <laughs> pita bread became my like travel carb. I have very fond childhood memories of pita bread and I love pita bread <laughs> and I think I bring it when I travel because it's like a little sturdier than like a loaf of bread. And I love, like one of my delicacies is the peanut butter and jelly on pita bread. It is so good. So I bring those supplies. I also have apples which I could dip in the peanut butter. Um, where is it? Oh, I also have these single serve hummus packets. So I could also have pita in the hummus. And I also have baby carrots, which could go in the hummus, and string cheese. And I am pretty addicted to oat milk. I just love having it in my coffee. I, I don't know, I can't have coffee without oat milk anymore. <laughs> so I thought I would bring this. If there's like a coffee maker in the hotel room, I can have my oat milk with it. Also a little oat milk with a PBJ. You feel me on that? So good. Um, I really like this brand. This one right here, the Barista Blend, is really creamy, and I think it is shelf-stable until you open it. But anyway, I'm going to be packing a cooler for this stuff, so hopefully it will survive fine. And I also have some pomegranate seeds from Trader Joe's. I like to snack on these. They kind of seem like candy to me, and obviously it's very easy because <laughs> they did all the work to get the pomegranate seeds out. So I have those. I have some eggs hard boiling here. And when I travel with hard boiled eggs, I like to go ahead and peel them in advance and then put them in a Ziploc bag with the salt and pepper already sprinkled on the eggs so they are ready to eat easily. And then I don't know if you would call this a guilty pleasure. This is like a comfort food since childhood. These little fruit and cream packets of oatmeal. I think these are so good. Um, so this is an easy hotel breakfast. Even if there's not like a kitchenette, I can whip one of these up with some hot water. Maybe add some oat milk. Um, also add some walnuts to make it um, crunchy and like add nutrients. I usually would add like blueberries or something, but I forgot to get any at the store. So I don't have any fresh fruit to add, but <laughs> it does have those little like dehydrated fruit things in it. So that's a little comfort food. And then I always bring this to slice my apples. And yeah, I could, I could pretty much live off of this spread for a couple days, but obviously we'll probably wind up getting food while we're out and about too. But these are the staples I like to bring and water. 
on the road again. Don't know why I'm on the road again. <laughs> How's that song go? I don't think that's it. Physically could not go on a road trip without singing um, on the road again. No, that and hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back <laughs> oh, no mo no mo no mo no mo. Hit the road, the Jack. <laughs> Don't you come back no mo. What'd you say? Hit the road. Original recipe chicken taste only <laughs> at the Colonel's place. Hit the road. What just happened? Was that a KFC <laughs> remix? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh. Hopefully everybody's tuning us out and just enjoying <laughs> the beautiful ocean. We are going to Salinas, California. Yes. And Big Sur. And Big Sur, but for tonight we're headed to Salinas. We're just taking a little pit stop in the most charming town of Solvang. I've vlogged here before. It's like a little Dutch town with it's Danish. Dutch, right? Danish. <laughs> Danish. That's embarrassing. Sorry. My I, apologies to Denmark. But there's lots of windmills and just really charming, quaint architecture. But yeah, we've definitely vlogged here before, right, Nate? I would think so. We've been here yeah. quite a few times. But. Yes. Um, so, I don't know. Dig through the archives if you want more of this deliciousness. But it's a great place to pull over for a little stop on a road trip. So cute. Our car tells us when we really should have a break. <laughs> and it says it so politely. Please, take a rest. Enjoy coffee. <laughs> Thanks to Nate's amazing driving, we're safely arrived here in Salinas, but now we're trying to chase the sunset to the ocean, and I think we're just missing it. Dang. Just missing it. I just saw that piece of it, but... We saw a glimpse, but the sky is still so pretty, and the ocean is beautiful 24 hours a day, so no worries there. Arrived. Ooh. We made it. Well, we missed the sunset proper, but... Oh, yeah. but it's so beautiful still. Yeah. I love it. This is like my favorite right after sunset when everything's pastel. The prettiest oh, colors. Oh, I, I don't know if you can hear me out here, but it's so beautiful. I wish you could smell the salty air. It's so cold, <laughs> but it feels amazing. It smells so good. It's just gorgeous. I think it'd be a pretty great trip if we see the sunset on the ocean every night for three nights. <laughs> he gave me his jacket, now he's freezing. I'm so warm and comfy. Can they see what I'm wearing? <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> we made it, we're in our hotel. It's just a nice standard work trip hotel. And we picked up some Domino's pizza. Nate got, what is this again? Pepperoni, black olive, pineapple? Yeah. I mean, we're gonna share. He can share mine. It's mushroom and onion, but I don't do the pepperoni, so that's, that's, so that's for him. <laughs> and we can finally relax. Uh, he I drove all the way. Greetings from NorCal. <laughs> Been spending, haven't seen much of Northern California yet. I've spent all day in the hotel room. Got Nate. Nate probably left this morning at like 7 a.m. Um, so I got up with him. And I've just been working in the hotel room all day. A little before three, I took the dogs out and we just went on, we try to go on a long walk. But whenever I'm staying at a random hotel, I'm like, I just don't know where it's okay to walk around here. And I don't know, we wind up exploring. Um, so we went on a meandering through, I always wind up like walking through like Walmart parking lots <laughs> and like random commercial areas because I just don't know where I am. But 
We had a little adventure. We got some fresh air. I did not pack well for this trip at all. Oops, sorry. I checked the weather before leaving, of course, which I was proud of myself because Californians, it's easy to forget to even check the weather because it's like, it's not like it's gonna rain, but it said like, I thought it said like five to 10 degrees colder than LA. So I thought, oh, I'll just wear my normal stuff. It feels so much colder here. <laughs> I like California weather, degrees aren't the same as they are in other places. Like it gets cold fast because it's like windy. Um, so I packed a bunch of like summer dresses <laughs> and the only jacket I packed is like a light, really lightweight trench coat that looks cute over a dress, but the only other clothes I have are workout clothes, like yoga leggings and stuff. And, um, when I wore my trench coat with my workout outfit, I just look like Inspector Gadget. So <laughs> didn't pack that well, cause I'm hoping we're going to get to go back to the beach here in a little bit. And if I wore a sundress, I think... It would blow over my head. It's, it's so windy, but it's really sunny and beautiful. I'll show you the view out the, out the window. Get ready for the glamorous hotel life view. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's super sunny and pretty outside. It's just cold. Um, by my standards, by my standards, it's 60 degrees. So it's not freezing, just not really sundress weather, but uh, that's all right. Le learn, lesson learned. I will be packing better in the future. But I've been sitting at the little hotel desk working all morning. I thought I'd move over here and get a little change of view with the doggies. Curled up in bed. DC, he's watching HGTV so intently. <laughs> DC. DC boy. Hey, is that a good show? <laughs> Sweet old boy. And Cindy's here. Cindy, wanna say hi? Hi, baby. <laughs> so I'm going to have a little late lunch-ish. I have a couple slices of pita PB&J. Telling you, it's a delicacy. And some carrots and hummus. Got a little cup of weird hotel room coffee. But it's actually pretty good, especially because I brought my own oat milk. And I'm going to switch gears from the work I was doing to editing the empties vlog that hopefully you guys saw before this. I'm gonna be productive a little bit longer until Nate finally finishes work for the day, and then hopefully we can go to the beach. Well, we're parked in some dramatic lighting. <laughs> Did you have a good work day, honey? It was quite exhausting, but yes. Aww. Hey, look at this deep fried clams. <laughs> I found something. Okay. We are parked looking for a place to get some out. I can't decide where to talk to you guys. I'll just talk to you like halfway in the sun. Mm -hmm. But we are in Monterey now. We just drew, drove, drove a little ways outside of Salinas where we were staying the last night and tonight. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we kind of messed up on sunset for two nights in a row because we're at this wharf and the sun is setting on the other side of that little like peninsula. So it's probably stunning, but that's well worth it because this wharf has been really cute. And there's so many sea lions. We love watching the sea lions. It, like the drama that they have is so adorable. And Nate found some good seafood he's gonna order to go. So. Nice little walk along the wharf, but that's sunset, apparently. Look how cute this little pink seafood joint is. Right on the water, it's so cute. Something about a pink building on a wharf, just... <laughs> it's just perfect. Pink buildings anywhere. Okay, dinner's served. Nate found his beloved fried clam strips. I think we've probably vlogged these before because mm -hmm. he likes to get these at the beach. I think it's San Diego, maybe. And then we have some clam chowder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get him, get him, get him. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, let me get you. Let me, let me get your reaction. <laughs> I'm spilling soup. Uh, the seagull outside the car window just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I thought he was going to like fly into the car. He was trying to. In for, my defense. Yeah. He absolutely wanted to. So embarrassing. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that's our view while we eat. <laughs> he's blocking it. Yeah. He's he's a cute view, but he's not welcome in the You didn't the show climb trainer? No. Oh. I spilled it everywhere. Send help. Situation has escalated. <laughs> he's, Can you see him in there? Yeah, he's the captain now. <laughs> I don't know why he decided to go on the <laughs> hood of the car, but I think he wanted to get closer to what he thought was food up here. I think he thinks he's gonna come in the sunroof. <laughs> so this is no longer my channel. This is now this guy's channel. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome today. Three, I guess. Uh, we got up super, super early, packed out of our hotel, and drove um, like an hour or more down the one, the highway right on the ocean. So beautiful, down the Big Sur. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous here. Just every pull out of the highway, every 10 feet, is just the most stunning view. It looks like Hawaii. It looks so gorgeous. I love, love this area. Ah, so pretty. So we packed up really early and Nate is working here for the day. So that means this is my office. I'm hanging out in the car. I got my little coworkers back there and I have this amazing view. So stunning. So I am quite content to just hang out in the car today and like get some stuff done, have a little mobile office situation. And, um, because, yeah, we had to check out of our hotel, obviously. So we're checking into a different hotel tonight as we continue making our way back down to L.A. So that's the adventure here. Last night I got this giant pink touristy hoodie. Or not even a hoodie. Fleece. fleece. It has a little otter on it. So cute. It's super cheesy, but it has been saving me. Because, like, we all know I didn't pack that well. It's pretty chilly up here. And this is so cozy and warm. So... I'm just quite content, honestly. I love, um, I'm loving this trip. It's so nice. So I think that's mostly the update. I'll show you the view just from where I'm randomly parked because it just boggles the mind how every 10 feet is the most stunning view in the world up here. It's so pretty. Just this, you know, pull over on the highway anywhere. <laughs> And you'll have a view like this. It's so stunning. I got my co-pilot here. <laughs> We're taking a moment, a little break from our seaside office situation to go check out a waterfall that's near here. So the park is unfortunately closed today, so I can't get into the park, but there's like an overlook from Highway 1 where we can hopefully see down to the waterfall. Because I've always wanted to stop there. It's called McWay Falls. And it's been on my California bucket list, so we're gonna go look for it. You guys, I think we've done it. I think we found the most beautiful place on the planet. I wish I could get closer, but the park is closed today. Oh my gosh. Look at this oasis down here. It really takes my breath away. What a beautiful, beautiful planet. Look at these butterflies. <laughs> Could it be more idyllic here? Reading break. If you're afraid of heights, maybe look away <laughs> because ooh, it's safer than it looks, I think, but I'm seated along the gorgeous view here. And I couldn't have more themed reading material. This is a book by Jack Kerouac. I really like his writing. Um, I used to love it when I was an English major in college. So artsy. <laughs> and so yeah, I just picked this up. This is one of his later works that I had never read. And I have to say, it is very, very depressing. So keep that in mind if you're gonna pick it up. But it's really cool to read a book that's set here while we're up here. 
and just drinking it in. Trying to drink in this view and soak it into my soul through my eyeballs because <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, the day is wrapping up so we're gonna have like a picnic dinner basically with all those groceries I showed you in the beginning. I'm so happy that we brought those foods. They've been delightful. Hummus and carrots and apples and peanut butter and jelly, hard boiled egg. So we're just gonna enjoy some of all this beautiful nature. All right, another standard issue motel for you. I have to say this one makes me very nostalgic. Like I love a good roadside motel. Right, baby? <laughs> and look at this, we have an ocean view. Wait for it. Wait for it. Keep waiting. <laughs> Ta da! But really, like motels like this make me so nostalgic for childhood and living in Florida and like playing cards with my family in the motel on vacation. It's just charming. All right, here it is, sunset number three. Can just make it out from our little balcony that we have. <laughs> It's really pretty and peaceful. Good morning, welcome to the last day of our trip. Today we're just gonna make our way down the coast all the way back to Los Angeles and hopefully, hopefully, stop at some fun roadside attractions, some California must-do type of attractions um, because it's just so amazing to get to see as much of this beautiful state as possible. These two are the best doggies. I don't know if you can see DC that well because he's not in the sun. You such good doggies. They're so chill on road trips. And they've just been sleeping in the little hotel bed with us every night. Snug as a bug. And they get along so well. We're home, I'm so happy to be home. It was an amazing, amazing trip, but a little bit exhausting, uh, but incredible as you saw. So many beautiful sights, so glad that we could take that trip and bring you with us, and it was just awesome. So now I'm home, I'm unpacking, doing all the laundry, all that fresh start at the end of a trip type of stuff, and I just want to show you my souvenirs. So I got this at Hearst Castle. It's just a little poster, but it has that retro travel poster vibe to it, so we love that. And it looks kind of 1930s, I feel like, so I thought that'd be fun to hang somewhere. I also got this bookmark there. Gorgeous picture of the swimming pool. That place was amazing. I can't get over it. Um, this, by the way, in case you're not familiar, is the home of the newspaper mogul, William Hurst. He's the guy that the movie Citizen Kane is based on. Really fascinating character. I think reading his biography would be really interesting. But that's what this gorgeous home <laughs> is that we were at, if you weren't familiar with it. Um, but yeah, I got this bookmark. I thought it'd be fun to put in my book that I'm reading, Big Sur by Kerouac. And then when we stopped at the Madonna Inn, I got not one, but two of their gorgeous goblets that I collect. I don't, I think no California road trip is complete without 
going to the restroom at the Madonna Inn because it's the most beautiful restroom in the world and going to the gift shop and hopefully adding a goblet to my collection. So this one's really cool. It's like a clear pink with a milky pink rim on the top and the bottom. So gorgeous. And I also got this smaller one that is Cinderella blue. It's so pretty. It's like photographing a little bit darker blue than it is, but it's really pretty light blue. And then also when we were driving up and we stopped in Solving, which is that really cute little town, Danish town. And I stopped at their Christmas store there. They have a store that is Christmas all year round. It's one of my favorite places. And that is where I get my advent candle that I burn every year. Like we share during vlogmas or whatever and you burn it a little bit for each day in december so i went ahead and got one for this year i'm so excited to go ahead and get it so this is like a slightly different style of candle than i've had before it's really long and i'm hoping this will <laughs> burn well and be a wonderful part of christmas this year i'm so excited it's so cute so i always stop at that store and get a little something and those are my souvenirs from this trip plus all my memories that I got to share with you guys. And it was just so fabulous. We love to make the most of a work trip like this. And now it's like, you know, a memory I will always savor. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. It was such a fun trip, so fun to bring you along. I hope you enjoyed the sights of gorgeous California. It is the most beautiful place in the world. I'm a little biased, but I love it here. And we love to make the most of any little work trip, any excuse <laughs> to make life a big celebration. So thank you for joining. Hit subscribe if you'd like to come along for more fun in the future and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye!